You can open us. Hello, people of Earth. I am here with my queen, Mrs. Talk About It Tequila. And I'm your host with the most. And yes, I didn't kill a lot of ghosts. Iconic. Okay. <laughs> and right. we are Jupiter's love. Why? Because I'm a Sagittarius who's ruled by Jupiter. And she's a Taurus who's ruled by Venus. Love. Jupiter's love. <laughs> <Not her. laughs> welcome guys welcome to the channel thank you for watching the video we did not say it in our last video but if you are not subscribed be sure to subscribe because we are bringing you them hot topics that need to be talked about and uh the one we have today is a big hot topic overcoming trust issues Rebuilding after betrayal. That's hot. Yeah, your door closed, baby. Mhm. Mm okay. I, yeah, it's the settings. If I, if I change the setting not to hear so much of the background, then you can't really hear me as well. It like, yeah. sounds yeah. everything out. So, uh, if you guys hear background noises. If you're new to the channel, we clearly are in two different states right now. Um, so, yeah, you're going to hear background noises. It's fine. We're human. Okay? This is mm -hmm. This um, is so, right now. Huh, what did you say? This is life right now. Yes. Not going to stay this way, but for right now, this is what it is. Yes. So... Let's talk about overcoming trust issues. How would you start by saying that we, or you in particular, have overcome trust issues? You're just going to try to poke it out like that, huh? Um, gotta have faith to faith. Okay. The first and main thing that I did to try to overcome trust issues is allowing myself to trust myself. Meaning that no matter what happens in life, I need to be able to trust myself. I need to be able to trust myself financially, emotionally, spiritually, physically. And I need to be able to trust myself that, hey, if my baby don't want to do something with me, that I'm trusting myself that, hey, I'm okay with that. Because what I want at that particular time may not be what she want at that particular time. That does not mean for me to go and not trust her because I don't trust me. I know that might sound kind of confusing. But when you understand trusting yourself first before you try to trust somebody else, you it it, it go hand in hand. Um, it helps me to be secure with me. So, and how how give example. Um, I trust her enough because I've trust me so much that I've told her how I am or what's on my mind. And I trust her enough to take that into consideration and, and do whatever she needs to do with it. Like trust issues, 
they they start because you put trust into somebody that you didn't give full access of why. Um, I think Lil Boosie said it on the Breakfast Club. Like, I've put in place people in my life for a position that they wasn't made for. They didn't show me they was able to be trusted. And I got screwed over. So now I got trust issues. Yeah. Yeah. It all falls back on you. You need to be able to trust yourself before you can trust somebody else. Did I do a good job, Alex? No, I'm just kidding. Yes. So trust, even for us, long distance relationship. There's so many more factors with us. So it's hard to use us as an example because I know where we're at mentally when it comes to trust, but on a, on a average, a lot of people have trust issues, but it's, it's stems from within. So yes, people are going to show you who they are. So you put someone in place. Now you're upset, but you have, you can't be upset at no one but yourself because of the choice that you made to put them somewhere they didn't belong. But Case in point, I'm sorry to cut you off, but hold that thought. Case in point, like when I was at my job and and the girls at my job was like, Oh, I I can't I can't do no long distance relationship. I can't I can't trust that they're gonna be on the up and up. Why? But then you you hear their why and it's it has something to do with them. Because I know that I wouldn't be able to go that long without seeing or feeling or touching or kissing this and that and the other. You know what going out last night also did for me, baby? Mm -hmm. Is that I'm not moved by a booty, a body. Basically, I'm not moved by, oh, I could get pussy. What about that mindset? And if I'm not interacting with you to find out about your mindset, I'm just not moved. All it is is good entertainment for the eyes. Yeah. But I'm sorry for jumping off topic. Go ahead, finish. Uh, There you go. There I go. There I go. There I go. (laughs) You did that last time. I, I slightly... Um, CBD, y'all, is just CBD. I'm trying to get my energy up. But yeah, I think trusting, we, we had to start trusting ourselves. You have to, so <clears throat> it's easy for me to say this now because we're in a different place. I think if we weren't healed and we weren't on a spiritual level, then I would probably have trust issues. Because, number one, he predominantly works from what I can hear and potential kind of see. I mean, I've been to his job. He mostly works with women. And that was an issue in the past. Huge trust issues. Huge trust issues in the past. Even, even the girl that I seen last night. I worked with her. She was that, one of the first. <laughs> she, she had a... Um, even well, though she was married, she said some things that you could tell that she was into me because she was like, she she liked a yeah. guy who who had my type of confidence and who was funny just like me. What woman you don't know that wants a man with confidence and is funny? Hell, and I had a job. You work with me. <laughs> yeah. So back then... I don't think I was, for some reason, like, I knew that she liked him, but I wasn't, like, it wasn't, she wasn't an issue or a factor. It was other people or other things that I was hearing. Um, But, again, there was trust issues. Yeah. We're long distance, and I have zero trust trust issues versus when we were in the same state 24-7. Same house. Same house. 
there was more trust issues then. And again, that was pre pre spirituality, yeah. pre owning my shit. So if I was me now back then, pff, it's to the point now where if there is a female in the picture, like we talked about this in our last video, if there's a female in the picture and he's like, Oh, I want to get her this outfit, or what I'm probably gonna be the one like get this for her. Don't tell her I found it. Don't tell her I, you get it for her. I'm that I'm that's what type of time I'm on. There's no trust issues. Um you have to heal yourself. And I'm when you heal yourself, I like I don't know how to put it into words, but there's just nothing in my eyes that could go wrong. Yeah. There's just not because and, and how you how you might go by healing yourself with trust issues, you can you know, they have they have um therapists online. You could do it online. Um Talk to be, someone you really trust. Yeah, and you can really, you you, you can read books, self help books or whatever. Please. Um, even if you don't read, find it on audio, because a lot of stuff I do on audio because I have time. Because I'm driving, I have time to listen. Um. But in, in our case, our self, um, self-help self came with, again, comedic centered living. It, 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 it asked questions that impacted our lives behind, like, you got the roots, but what, what's, what's the, what's the cause? You know, it's back to, to the seed type form. Not just the root to the seed. Yeah. But the seed, then there's the root, then there's the plant. You know. I'm, I'm sorry. I cut no, you. No, you're good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Um speaking on comedic center, the the fa the teaching that we got back then is not available now. So again, when I said in our last video, everything that transpired at that moment was supposed to be because that teaching set us off in a place of being able to deal with trust issues. I wish I wish he would bring it back because it wasn't even talking about topics of trusting. It wasn't these general topics that we're talking about now. It was straight spirituality and breaking down the Bible and understanding God and understanding who we are as humans. He hasn't took it away. He didn't. He it's just reformatted into videos. So he has maybe, I don't know how many videos, but if you just go and you start from the beginning and you just start to listen, yeah, you'll yeah. start to feel and hear uh, uh, a thing, even with, um, so if you do the videos, do the videos. Um, start from the beginning all the way up. Um, there are live videos. Start from the beginning and work your way up. It's all in the videos. But but just like how you know Derek Grace said he didn't put everything out there, but if you're not catching and writing it down in the videos, you're gonna miss it. And now that if you want it in this one course. If you want me to condense all of it because you won't re listen to the videos here, now you got to pay. So it's so all that, there. So that's what I do is I will go to like, I have a couple people I'm literally in the middle of all, like their TikToks or their YouTubes. I will go all the way back to before they got popular and started charging, go all because they, it's, it's, it's all there. But when they get popular and people are like, oh, do a class, do a course, do this. They started from the information that they're just going to throw in this condensed version for an hour or whatever. But it's all there. So a lot of people will not go. People won't go back three prior posts to look at something. They see what's in their face and that's it. Oh, do this. I see people asking questions like, 
If y'all go back two or three posts, the answer's right there. It's right there. So, when it for us, yes, the the class was great. I, I still want the course. I still want to read because I feel like it it gets in there. But yes, the videos and all of that are great. We overcame trust issues by doing the work within ourselves. I didn't Self. I didn't blame him for liking other females talking to other females back in the day I did when I wasn't taking accountability for why he was doing it. Now I own my shit. It feels good. I feel free. Mm. She knows that she's enough for me. And I know that I'm enough for her. And back in the day, I still wear the ring. But back in the day, I did not think that at all. Yeah. And I kept getting messages that I was enough. I still, I just posted it on my fan page that I, I, back in the day, it was, I am enough. I would see messages. It's almost like, why are you lying to yourself? about you not being enough. Yeah. You know, you got to start with that first because a lot of time people saying that they're not enough is because they, they're they looking for somebody outside of themselves to validate that they are. But why don't you feel like you're enough? Yeah. You, you got to start with you. Everything starts with you. It really does. It really does. So even I spoke on it in the last video and because our dynamic, our choice of lifestyle is huge. Trust is huge, right? On so many levels. And so for me, Ooh. If, what? No, it just took me back to, to when Will said, you trust her in Arizona with your social security number? What? Why? Because you don't came. trust your wife who lives on the same roof with your social security number because she's showed you that she can't be trusted. All right, I'm I'm gonna shut up. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I mean it th that's that's it. So we we people are like, how can you do that? How can you live that life? Blah blah. I'm a stronger person for having a third person in my relationship than you are for having two people in my in your relationship. My me being able to trust not one but two other people If you have open communication, if you are healed within yourself, what are, what could go wrong what it what 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 needs to be hidden what needs to be we're in two separate states we if we both wanted to step out on each other who's to stop us the only people that can stop us is us the and what would be the what's the point of stepping out if you have understanding if no let me back up let me back up first of all do you love yourself do you love yourself because if you love yourself then you know all of this again is enough so if he goes and deals with someone else i still know that all of this is enough for me mm -hmm. and same here same here I, and and yeah, like it's it's it, it like we're speechless for the simple fact that y'all don't know y'all. We we could tell y'all, but to to for y'all to start the healing process and 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 trusting yourself, you you gotta start trusting yourself. Trust your gut. Oh, maybe let me say this. Maybe the reason you do not trust yourself especially in the black community, you may have been raised 
to not lean to your own understanding. And that's probably why you're having trust issues. Think about that. Do not lean to your own understanding. So you mean to tell me that what I see, what I feel, what I think, I should not. I should wait for somebody else to tell me how I'm thinking, feeling, and what I'm seeing. Why? Because I'm trying not to lean to my own understanding because that's blast for me. Come on now. Yeah. That might be the root problem. Get that out your system. Understand that what you see, what you hear, what you feel is all valid. I 100% and and I'm saying this I'm saying this so you can break through the core of yourself, right? You can break through and get to those deep rooted issues. So if you both are willing to do the work, then you have just put your relationship on a whole nother track. You on a whole nother planet, in my opinion, dimension. You you way oh, out. You didn't, doing that, you didn't win up another dimension. Woo. Yes. Hey, go ahead, baby. So I do believe because there's some people that literally intentionally want to live in this space. Oh, you're of, messing up. Am I doing too much moving? No, I like the audio and the vid- visual kind of messed, messed up. up. Yeah. You good now. So I don't know. You might want to repeat what you said. I'm like, what's going on over here? Um. So I do believe that there are some people that want to live in the, a toxic, unhealthy space. I do mm-hmm. believe that there's some people when you own who you are and you try and be a better person, you, the trust, you're working on trust, you're working on self, that there's people that just don't want you to do that. So it's difficult to kind of progress and and whatever those are people you just gotta leave alone but everyone else if if i would have changed and he wouldn't have or if he would have changed and i wouldn't have you're not gonna have a successful healthy relationship because you still have someone that's not loving themselves and they're not gonna be happy that you're love they're gonna bring try and bring you back down to where they're at for whatever reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, so for us, like there was a lot of, I would say betrayal because there was a lot of secrecy. There was a lot of things going on, things being said um, that got to one of us or, or, you know, him with female coworkers that just. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and speak on it. I had a female, real quick, I had a female that she was kind of dealing with him, training, whatever, they were close. She came out and gave me a look. And I'm like, why does she look at me like that? Like, I felt like she felt like there was something. That that one girl, Nicole, Nikki, when you were an American. Oh, I didn't train her, but okay. Well, I can't... I don't remember all the details. I know she came out and looked at me when I was waiting for him to come get off work one day. And I was just like, why does she look at me that way? I'm feeling some type of way. Um, we gonna, we might have to end it a little bit because the baby's here. Oh, okay. So, but, yeah. Or, real, you know what? Keep talking. Go ahead, baby. Say what you was going to say. Go I'm going to just talk about the, the thing that really messed yeah. up our trust. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so what had happened was, no, I'm just kidding. The thing that messed up the trust at this particular time, and it seemed like it happened real good or whatever, or real easy. So me and my wife, me and my queen, we was having issues. I forgot about what, but um, she started throwing out the the D word, divorce, you know, and we was in church heavy, still heavy in church. And 
in church, it was like we were supposed to say, you know, never to say the D word or whatever. But life was life and so hard that, you know, she got to her wits end and was we was arguing and she said, talked about divorce or whatever. And, and for me, the way she was saying it, she was saying it to the point where I thought she was dead, dead ass serious. So in the um, coming week, I got, you know, at my job trainer, I got um, a new trainee. It was a female. Um, she looked it very nice or whatever. Got to training her or whatever. And with training, you you know, you get to know the person and um, you try to basically, what up, little Mike, 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 Mike. Is yeah. Uncle? You see your uncle? Or you see yourself? You probably see yourself. Yeah. Ah! Okay. <laughs> he looking around. So I started training her, started to get to know her, um, and whatnot. And you know, we asking each other stuff about like, okay, she had a daughter. Well, what about past relationship or your relationship to kids, father, stuff like that? Um, oh, so are you married or did that? You know, we got into each other's um, yeah. home life or whatever. And um, just so happened that we had a slight big fight or whatever to the point where now I'm at, you know, I'm now I'm trying to train, but I'm like, I'm not, I'm not there i'm not mentally there so you know well what, what's wrong with you i'm like man me and my wife we got into a big fight and it just i'm i'm just not not knowing i'm not knowing our outcome i'm not knowing our future or whatever um then it got to well i know that you work hard and whatnot and you know any woman with a man that work hard should really appreciate, you know, she started getting to that point. So, you know, what man wouldn't want to hear another woman say that I see you working hard and all that stuff to the point where, you know, we, ex we had to exchange phone numbers due to, you know, training or whatever, but, and it was supposed to be, you know, strictly for work, but it got to be, you know, outside of work and all that stuff to the point where, you know, she's sending me pictures and I'm like, Ooh, you know, send me this. And, you know, uh, it got to the point where hey, TT baby. Mm -hmm. it got to the point where, um, hey, TT baby. <laughs> you messing me up, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it, it got to the point where, uh, one time she had sent me a picture of, of what she cooked. It, it looked it good. It had the fried chicken, the greens, and the candy yams, and the macaroni and cheese. Um, this And this is how she, she got synced me in or whatever. And I allowed it because, again, that's, that's me. She was like, you the type of person that needs to have a home-cooked meal and while you eating, have your things sucked on, you know, what man wouldn't. So it wasn't until, it wasn't until a little bit later, some days later or whatever, that I got called up or whatever. Cause, uh, cause of what I heard, yeah, I was about to go cheat. So, you know, I got called and that, that destroyed a lot of, uh, her trust for me. But that was only because, again, we was having an argument and she threw out the D word and I felt like- Say the D word, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go give him back. Yeah, I already told him D word was divorce. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, see you, man. Say bye, uncle. Say bye. <laughs> Peace out, GD. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. So, 
I got caught, you know, and how I got caught, like, I told her not to text. Let me, I'll text her back. And then I waited around just so if she texts me saying, okay, you know, I see it. She texts, okay. All right, so I gave my phone to my wife, who at the time her phone went dead, so she wanted to call or whatever. <sighs> Why? Why in the middle of her phone conversation, she sends a text? Now, I now think that, you know, she did that on purpose. Or who knows? I don't care. It was done or whatever. But, like, it really, it really took the wind out of her sails for trusting me. Not on... I mean, and that was on top of a, a heated argument with the divorce word in there. And um, it was the reason because I might not have been doing things, finances and all that stuff. And the thing is, for on my end, for her to get me was because I wasn't feeling love. She was always working in the office. Again, if y'all seen the last video, I'm up in the I'm up in the room by by myself. It's late at night. Like, where's my baby? She's in the office. Now I gotta go to sleep by myself. You know, so I'm feeling I'm I'm not feeling loved. I'm not feeling wanted. You know. So of course. So because she wasn't my wife wasn't getting what she needed and I wasn't getting what I needed. That caused that 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 break that 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 trust to manifest that that trusted seed to manifest and start growing roots to a full on plant. Now she can't trust me. I can't trust her. Every time I think she's going out with her friends, I'm thinking she's going out to meet up with a guy or whatever have you. You know. Every time I go to work, she thinking I'm I'm messing around or whatever have you. Who who's the next victim and stuff like that? It it got too much. All because we wasn't allowing ourselves to be truthful with ourselves and allowing our partners to see our truth, to hear our truth, you know all that stuff. So you you gotta you gotta start with yourself. You got to start with yourself. Be truthful with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Be open with yourself. Be transparent with yourself. Be direct. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Be direct with yourself. All right? And she's back. And I'm back. Baby, yeah. one more go on my hair. Be just... Be... Not be yourself. You're going to be yourself, but... It all starts with you. It all it all starts with you. I was trying to tell him how I um got caught. The cell phone, the texting. Yeah, and I and told you know, him, Go ahead. No, no. Did, it was the texting, but even before that, it was something that I felt was off. Right, I felt something was off. Whatever. So I had all these trust issues, these insecurities. I'm checking the GPS location on the Gmail. If you didn't know that was a thing, it definitely is a thing. It tracks your location. So I'm checking he in spots for too long. It, it shows he's in, in a, a housing community when, you know, it, I was losing it. You're blurry when you sit back, by the way. Okay. Oh, um, so yeah, the, the, the text message, did you tell like in detail how I, how I actually was like conjured up a plan to, to get your phone? No, go ahead. This is my first time. I didn't know you conjured up a plan. I thought it just really like your phone really did go dead. Nope. Oh, so, so now it comes out. I, I have, I've 
first of all, I've been told him. So if he don't remember, I don't know what to tell him. I told him I was on the phone with my friend and I knew some was off. And I knew at that moment that he was texting. So, you know, men are very men, women. I'm not going to say men. I'm a woman. So I'm saying it from my perspective. But people clean up. They mess. They delete. They hide. They, you know, all types of stuff. So at that moment, I knew that he was texting. So, but he was playing a game. I think the game was to cover up the texting. I don't know. Um, so I turned my phone off. I was on the phone with my friend. I said, I'm going to play like my phone is dead. Call his phone. Say you're trying to get a hold of me. And if he comes up here, my phone's going to be off. So it's going to look like it's dead. So she called him, needed to talk to me. He didn't, he didn't, he call her phone because he knew that he was texting. So, oh, I can't get a hold of her. It's just really quick. I got that phone, started screenshotting and sending myself, myself these messages real quick. Go in and delete. You got to move fast. Like you got a good three to five seconds. You got women know we be quick. Screenshot, boom, send, delete, you know, like that. I, I did that. Went in there, he came in, got that phone. I hurried up and sent myself or, you know, turned my phone back on, started looking and reading all the stuff. Yeah, it was a wrap. It's funny now. Yeah. But you gotta move quick. I'm telling you. But, but it was all it was all because we 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 was having to fight at that time. Um and the fact that you wasn't getting what you wanted from me and I wasn't getting what I wanted from you. And it just, you know, you know, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go. No, you go ahead. In, in religious terms, you'd be like, you know, God brings it to the light. Yeah. No, it's, it's just energy. Energy yeah. brings. Yeah. But go ahead. Um, I was just going to say like a lot of, a lot of sometimes even, and I may be speaking for you, speaking for myself, however you want to look at it, but even when we were going, like we went through counseling, we were in counseling. It wasn't your typical counselors, but it was our pastors. And even now they would probably be shocked at how we're living and how well our relationship is, but they would also be shocked on the, the, the lifestyle we're choosing to live. But that's a whole nother subject whatever but they will I be shocked that we're open to living because we're not living it now but we're yeah, open you're, you're right you're right um but the counseling that we went through a lot of times it was very i don't want to say vigorous i don't think that's the right term but we would sit down and they would well why is this happening and why is this going on and instead of taking accountability for our own actions it was constantly pointing the finger and blaming the other person and trust, trust. There was an instance, my husband, I think she's messing with sleeping with someone when she brings her brother back home. How? It was a five minute drive, but that was things that were being brought up because of not taking accountability for our own actions. If I'm doing something wrong, then she's got to be doing something wrong. Cause that's, that, that's what I had explained too. like, because I'm I'm because I'm upstairs and I want my baby up there with me. So now I fall asleep. And let's say you come up there, you said you came up there a couple of times and I was sleeping, you went back down to doing your work. So now I'm now I probably woke up in the middle of the night, you still not there. So now I'm trying to listen. And I'm like, because I'm so worried and 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 lacking, lacking of of what of, of telling you what I need or whatever. Now my mind is like playing tricks on me. So now the house is, I, I told him how the house is quiet. So now I'm trying to listen. And all of a sudden I hear do, do, do. And I'm thinking if I'm not getting it, who's, who she's giving it to type thing, because that's what we all hear. So now I'm thinking I'm hearing that do, do, do. Is you downstairs getting, getting, having sex. You know what I'm saying? Come to find out, it's my own heartbeat beating, 
but I'm trying to be so sneaky and listen that I'm thinking you down there having sex and I'm hearing my heartbeat do, do, do. Because the times that I've came downstairs, you you was fully dressed in your in your office, you know, but it's my mind. It was my mind playing yeah. a trick for me because I wasn't being open and truthful and honest with myself. Hey, baby, this is what I need right now. Yeah. Like, I need your feminine presence. Yeah. And that was also, again, those are those things that why, again, why is these things going on? So the fact that I, I'm i working, I, you know, I do PCA, so I bring my brother back home. I come back and I'm on the computer when I should should be up spending time with my husband, I'm, I'm working to the point where my manager is coming on at 11, 12 o'clock at night, get off the computer, get off, stop working. You're working too much. I'm not getting paid for the work that I was doing, but I was so focused and honed in on, on something outside of my relationship that I didn't realize that was, that, that was a factor that was causing a problem. Like, time because a, a, honestly time can solve a lot of problems in a relationship yeah so there was a lot of things that we weren't acknowledging back then and it wasn't like back then we had the the location things and all of that stuff to even you know be like are you home are you gone are you this are you that there was a lot of issues like that i can recall where like he would say, I don't want you sitting next to a man at the bar. I don't want them close to you. And it wasn't, that wasn't the issue. It was something deeper within us that was, you know, someone else is going to, you're sitting, you're talking to someone else. They're getting the attention that I want you to give me, but I'm not, I'm not voicing that. So now that's the problem. Or he's sitting and communicating with a female coworker. And so now I'm getting upset and it's because we're not communicating and com conversing so now that's the problem is you're talking to her when really it's you're not talking to me. Mm -hmm. So and you're sitting next to a guy in the bar because now that I'm home, you won't sit next to me. You won't stay home with me. Your girlfriends call you and, and now y'all out and about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're, you're not giving me my, my touch, my, you know, love language. And, touch and not to whatever. mention at the time, only one of my friends was, she was married. Like we're best friends to this day. We were close, we're, we're the same age. And we pretty much was dealing with the same things around the same time. So her and I were super close, but all my, the rest of my friends that I was hanging around with at that time were single. So it wasn't like they had to be home for somebody. It wasn't like they had, people to take care of or, or home duties or responsibilities. So for me, you know, being in that circle, oh, we're going out, we're going to get drinks tonight or whatever else. It's easy for them to get up and go versus me or my other friend where we got a whole family at home that we taking care of. I have friends that didn't have kids, didn't have a man, had friends that, you know, they may have had kids, but they have babysitters or friends that their kids were older so they can, can get up and go whenever they want it. So again, those factors played a part as well. So, and at the time, because we were not on the same page and our communication within ourselves or each other wasn't good, then yeah, I would get up and go because, you know, whatever. So overcoming trust for us was really, again, and I'll, when you when you get to this place in life and you understand like i need to take care of me i need to see about me make sure i'm straight when you take care of you all those trust issues and whatever else go out the window because now i see that i am enough i acknowledge who i am and what i do i'm like and i tell them all the time i i my table that I'm bringing to someone else's table. Okay. I do so much and can do so much. I have so much potential. Like, I know I'm enough. 
So even if he was to deal with someone else or I get with someone else, whatever, we individually and together know like that person's not filling my shoes. Mm-hmm. So even for him, he'll okay, you can deal with you could talk to someone else, but they ain't me. And is 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 not even a a competition or or any spitefulness. It just I know who I am. I know what I got going on. Now they may feel the same way. They may have their own things going on and that's great. That's what we want. You know what I'm saying? You got someone that's coming in or dealing with someone that's like insecure, jealous, they're not healed. Now you you didn't brought all them roots back into the relationship and have to deal with them all over again. Yeah. But even if that is the case because of where we are at, we know how to work through it. We know how to fix it and heal so that whatever we're connected to on a personal level is is still 100% good. But we had to deal with ourselves. So we can talk about those situations now from the past and be like, okay, it, it the situation wasn't the problem. The problem was why the problem was happening. Maybe this could be a clip. Well, what I'm about to say is that what if things, when the, the saying, trying to clean out the skeletons in the closet, what if the skeletons are just skeletons of you that you need to deal with you? Mm. Yeah. Just what if? What if? Yeah. I'm going to look at that. We have 46 minutes. I'm, I am going to clip clip that. Um, yeah, so you are your own problem. You are your own problem. And I'm you not his problem. be your own celebration too. Yeah. I celebrate, like, even they say when you hold a lot of heavy energy, that turns into health issues. And when you let all of that go and you heal and you whatever, because like I I was in the hospital in May of this year with a, a blood clot, a big, a big blood clot. <laughs> and that could have been stemmed over the years of things that transpired that I wasn't, healed from. Ever since then, I took the medicine, then we started doing natural remedies and whatnot. I feel fine. I may, you know, it may still be there. I don't know yet, but I feel fine because I'm, I released all of that. People are walking around, bad knees, bad bodies, blood clots, on a continual basis. Yeah, it is is all every every health issue in your it's, body it stems from you not paying attention to something that you should have. Exactly. So cancer. they say you have cancer. But what about all the different kinds of cancer? Not to mention, do you know how cancers start? Don't nobody know how cancers start? And they say everything causes cancer. Exactly. I mean, causes cancer, cancerous, blah, blah, blah. You know, fumes from this product could potentially cause cancer. Eating, Eating groceries can cause cancer. Yeah. So but um we going to end this we going to end this and please understand if you don't take nothing from this please take deal with you first before you try to deal with somebody else be okay with you first look in the mirror and tell that boy or that girl that had that traumatic experience years ago 
Tell them that you love them. Tell them that it's going to be okay. Tell them that, hey, your parents divorcing and you feeling that way as a young kid, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Deal with you so you can deal with others. So you can live with you. So you can live unapologetically you. And from Jupiter's love, we are rooting for you. We stand with you. And we love you. So with that being said, don't ground your love. Make your love out of this world. Because right now, we are a prime example. We're making our life out of this world. Because we know that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Seek help. Get help. So you can be help. All right. I'm your guy, Conic. And this I'm is my girl, Tequila. Queen. Yep. Talk about it, Tequila. Who is fine as ever. Look at the hair, the dimples, the cheek, the eyes, the lips. Oh, my God, them lips feel good. Stop it. All right, y'all. We out. Peace. Love and hair grease. <laughs>